In this lesson, we're going to identify the various parts of our index.html page using classes, and in the next lesson, we'll write style selectors to make the basic box layout, placing the various parts of the page in the appropriate places in the browser window, taking our index page from its current unstyled state to this. Open up index.html in Komodo Edit and select and copy the link to reset.css and paste it in below it and change reset.css to style.css. It's very important you paste this in one line below the link to reset.css because styles are applied in the order that the browser reads the style sheets, so the later style sheet will override the earlier one. If we have reset.css lost, it will override all our styles. Save that now in the CSS folder, make a new text file, and call it style.css. You'll be prompted about changing the extension, and you say yes, and open that up in Komodo Edit. Also now, go to the Working Files, Chapter 5, and find the two images in there. These are images that we can use as placeholders if we don't have an actual uh, movie image available. Select both of these and copy and go back to htdocs, favorite movies, and make a new folder called images-movies. Go into that and paste those two images in there. Make sure that you name that folder correctly, images-not-underscore-movies. Back in index.html, we need to give class names to some of our elements, especially where there's more than one occurrence of the same element name. Find the first nav tag, which is there, and give it the class name navigation by typing in class equals, and then in quotes, navigation. Now we can identify that as a unique nav area. And then the div just below it, Give that the name class equals select underscore users. I use underscores, by the way, in my class and ID names, and I use dashes or hyphens for file names and directories. It's just a way of keeping things neat and tidy and under control so that I know which is which. Then go down and that ul tag, which encloses the list of users, and we're going to call it users. Then down to the next ul, this, this one encloses the two admin pages, manage users and manage movies. So we'll call this one class equals admin. You can see that these names are functional. They're nothing to do with appearance. No, I haven't called them anything like, you know, green box at the top right or anything. Because if it turned out later I wanted to change it and it wasn't green anymore, maybe it wasn't at the top right anymore, then it would be an inappropriate name. So I've given them functional names. Admin, that will always be appropriate. Users, that's always appropriate. Then go down and find the next nav element, which is here. And this one contains the list of favorite movies. So we'll call this one class equals favs. Now down to the section. This section contains the list of movies. So we'll call it section class equals movie underscore list. And the paragraph inside it is going to be a welcome paragraph. So we call it class equals welcome. Go down and inside the figure tag, at the moment we've got just the words thumbnail image. 
Let's put in a link to the thumbnail image that we just copied with IMG for image class equals and we're going to call it thumbnail. So we'll be able to style all the thumbnails the same very easily. Alt. This is alternate text. This is text that appears if somebody's got images switched off in their browser or if they can't see the images and they need to have a description of what the image is read out. So for the moment we'll just put thumbnail. And then src, that means source, equals, and then we want a relative path to that folder. So it's images, movies, and then it's thumbnail.png. And close off that image tag. Again, it's a self-closing tag. Go down a bit further and find the div, here we are, find the div containing the movie description and give that the class equals description. Okay, so we've changed that li, whole of the li, so we don't want to write that all out again, so copy that, I've just done control C and go down and Select the two allies that we've got there and paste it in again. Just tidy things up. And then we got the same thing three times. And that's it. The footer's fine because it's a unique element name. So that's it. Just briefly preview that in Firefox and then we can go on to working on the styles.